Uh, hopefully Perry's not in the squad. I think he's had a bit of a rough form. I don't think he's really played very well. Good afternoon, it's game day. And as you can see, I'm on a train. Um, nothing to be excited about, really. Halfway through my shift, going to Drax again, take some biomass in. So I'm not at Port Vale. Dylan's going, but I don't know if he's doing a vlog or not. So if he doesn't do a vlog, this is going up instead. Hopefully he does. Um, but yeah, we've uh, announced Anthony Grant. Get in there. It's the type of player that we've missed, that we need. You know, nasty little piece at middle of the park, likes to mix it up. As I put out on a tweet, you know, he's one of them players that, as an opposition fan, you absolutely despise, but deep down, you wish he was on your team. He's that type of a player. I remember, you know, the first game when we played Swindon this season, you know, he was laughing in people's faces, he was winding people up. And that's what we've needed. You know, we've needed some steel in the middle of the park. So for me, I'm all for it, and it can only help our cause. We've also got Feeney as well from Tranmere, let's not forget. Um, he was announced the other day. Still waiting a couple more announcements I'm reading. But it's only a good thing, you know, these are players that Keith wants in, that he knows are going to work hard. So, you know, it's all good in my eyes. We just need to get behind the team now and um, focus on getting out of the bottom two. It'll take time, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. It will take time, but we've got to be positive and um, keep believing. So, uh, all those that went have gone. I hope you had a good day. And but yeah, it would be nice to get three points today. Um, out of the last five matches each, we've lost five and Port Vale have lost four and drawn one against Leighton Orient. So, you know, it's not the greatest of returning points wise for either team. Um, they've got a few injuries as well, which will help our cause. Obviously, they've got a few people in, but, you know, if it's a time to play them, I feel it's now. So, uh, we're virtually at half time now. It's nil nil still. Um, like I said earlier, Dill's at the game. He was going to start vlogging, but um, he got some news on if you heard. There's been some stabbings in Doncaster last night, this morning, um, in the town centre, and uh, he knew the three lads that were stabbed. Um, unfortunately, two of them have um, passed away, so he's just, you know, not with it at the really right frame of mind to do a vlog, so fair play to him. You get to see my ugly mug a bit more. Um, but yeah, so it's nil-nil, half-time. From what I've been reading, we're creating chances, and um, which is only a good thing, you know? So hopefully we can put one of them away in the second half. Uh, I've just got back from game now. Uh, we did lose one now. Um, I think first half, we were the better side at times or maybe I'm just saying that because it's been a lot better than we have been doing um, but second half Port Vale really did put the gas on and uh, get the goal in the end probably was deserved but definitely better from Scunthorpe we had spells of brilliance just didn't have the cutting edge we couldn't finish anything but again I don't think we was that bad maybe could have got a point I felt when we brought Burns off that was a nail in the coffin really Throwing De Devon Green up top, um, wrong wrong call I'd, I'd say, maybe should have kept Burns on but hopefully we can bring Nutter on, maybe change, maybe get a few goals but definitely looking better, uh, especially in midfield with the likes of Anthony Grant there, I did think he held it a little bit better, give away a few sloppy balls but it is his first game so yeah, that's my thoughts on today's game, if you have any differences leave them in the comments, I'll be uh, glad to read them. So, um, great turnout from the fans as well. Uh, sang all the way through the game and uh, say how bad we're doing. The sport's been great from everyone getting behind the team.